Oh, good morning everybody. Um, just another update on the uh, Sudan collection which I'm assembling from uh, Newland Miniatures. Uh, just completed uh, a small detachment or regiment of uh, Egyptian infantry. Um, fairly quick to complete. Um, as you see virtually all white uniforms and uh, yeah quite uh, quite an enjoyable paint really um, I did uh, I did a bit of uh, obviously white initially followed by uh, a little bit of deck planking um, to touch in the creases of uh, the uniforms and uh, other than that, the uh, the brown skin, uh, just a bit of experimentation to just to get the right tone. I notice the uh, Egyptian skin tones are obviously um, brownish, but 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 not obviously a dark brown. That would be the Sudanese who were, were virtually well, they were black. Um, the uh, the Egyptians were more of a coffee coloured skin tone. So just a little bit of mixing there. Um, Equipment fairly simple, all picked out in black. And uh, once again, I uh, was able to uh, use my new products to uh, to do my basing a bit better than I have been doing in the past. As I say, I usually uh, use a PVA glue, and it's it's been very very messy stuff, and it's not really it's not really been a good bond but the uh the army painter uh, basing glue has been has been perfect and um yeah they they went together now now the problem i've got well not problem but uh i've i've essentially finished the british and egyptian forces now and i'm 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 going to turn my attention now to the uh, dervish forces i i was initially contemplating a a small break but uh, I don't know if the rest of you are the same with me um, sometimes when I don't paint even for a few days I find it very very difficult you know I know some of the guys are talking about a kind of the block that you hit but I find that even if I, I, I paint for 10 or 20 minutes a day it's enough to keep me in the game whereas if I if I stop I mean there's been times through either ill health or just haven't been able to um, been able to uh, devote the time to doing the hobby. I've not painted for two or three days or a week or more, and it's been incredibly difficult to get back. It, it, it's not quite that I forget what I'm doing. It, 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 it's just almost, um, you know, I mean, the, the knack is always there, but it's almost uh, the momentum is lost and. Uh, it's a very strange thing. It uh, it does actually uh, take a little bit of time to get back into the the groove again. So uh, I probably will proceed slowly. Um, you know, I, I've discovered rather late that the trick to the game is obviously do manageable numbers. I mean, when I was doing twenty eight millimeter figures, um, Perry's and Warlord games, I, I was sometimes putting out thirty or or even forty figures in one go. And um, sometimes with that, even with production line methods, um, painting all the faces and all the jackets, sometimes when confronted with that number of figures, it could be a little bit daunting. But, um, you know, I, I, you do a dozen or so, maybe, maybe 15 or 16 at most, and... Um, you see some end in sight, and then you get onto the next batch. And um, I've been going through these for, for me at least, at a, a fairly good rate. Um, as I say, I'll be, um, you know, slightly modifying my painting styles now because I'll be going for a more random effect. The Haddendower tribesmen, the um, the dervishes with the patched jibbers or or uniforms and. Um, so there'll there'll be a certain amount of uh, irregularity to them, but uh, within all that, uh, a sameness, I suppose, if I can put it that way. Um, I've got about, I mean, I think it's probably about 150 uh, dervish figures. Again, a representational force, camels, uh, horsemen, um, emirs, um, 
as I say, the different tribesmen I've mentioned, the Hadendawa, the Fuzzy Wuzzies, and, um, you know, slightly different um, approach. Um, skin tone, very important, you know, particularly important. You know, I, I notice a considerable variation, well, quite a variation between some of the tribes. The, the, the Hadendawa can be, you know, very dark skinned, and um, some of the other dervish forces less so. But, uh, I've done them before. Um, I, I did in the eighties. I, I did um, the connoisseur range of figures, um, and uh, the Peter Gilder uh, going back uh, to to his range of figures, um, and and so I've got some experience of doing them, and and I'm still enjoying doing them. I mean, I'm actually quite um, still considerably into this subject. As I saw, I mentioned a couple of books in previous videos. Uh, the first jihad, um, a slightly modern up updating of the uh, the cartoon uh, siege and uh, the Gordon Relief Expedition, and um, still going through some of my other Mardis Source Wars, book one and two, and go strong into the desert. The um, they're, they're really the best book that I've I've got on the subject, and. Um, I'm dipping into all these at different times and uh, enjoying enjoying them immensely. Um, yeah, having uh, having quite a lot of fun with these. You know, uh, it's as I say, I, I think showing them is is always a a pleasure. They would normally go straight to um, you know my storage trays and never see the light of day again. So just just showing them to you guys is. Um, it's a bit of an encouragement, you know, it's it's all inspiration watching your videos and um, indeed uh, showing my own. And um, as I say, next next time I show some figures, it's going to be the first of the, uh, the dervishes. So um, look forward to catching up with you. Hope all your uh, projects are going well and uh, regards to everyone out there. And uh, as I say, hopefully I'll see some of you at least um, at Salute in April at the Excel Centre in London. Um, take care, guys. Uh, hope you're all well. Thanks for watching.